All right, we're gonna test this. We're gonna see if Target actually quit selling Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I've heard some people have had some luck, so I'm gonna go in and check it out. Pharaoh's well, servant in dark crisis. We found some cards. We didn't buy them all. I left four blisters for some other people, but five double blisters at Target. They still sell cards. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. I heard some reports from my peers. I went to Target for the first time today since February of 2020. And the first thing I, go, I did is I went to the card section. Our Target had everything. Well, it had mostly battle styles. But the thing that I noticed first is this. A few moments later. Masaki Legendary Swordsman, Man Eater. <laughs> Ruxin, what did I tell you? Ruxin. Ruxin, what did I tell you? Blue Eyes, White Dragon, LOB. That there were Yu-Gi-Oh packs at Target. And yeah, we did that video. Target was scaling back on selling trading cards. But guess what? A lot of them are still selling Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So they're not selling Pokemon, they're not selling sports, but guess what? Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't fall under any of those categories. So you guys saw the intro. We got us some packs from Target. My local Target had like, I think it was nine of these double blisters. So, local Target, nine double blisters. I picked up five because I was like, you know what? If somebody else wants some, let's let them have them. But we'll pick up five for a nice 10-pack opening. This is pretty exciting, guys. We still can get Yu-Gi-Oh cards at Target. I know Walmart, I think, is actually, like, a lot of those are actually, like, doing all trading cards. But for Target, they still have Magic and they still have Yu-Gi-Oh because nobody buys Magic cards. Sorry if you like Magic, but nobody's buying them at Targets, apparently. They're all still sitting there. But for Yu-Gi-Oh, they only had Legacy Packs. They didn't have anything else, which is fine with me. I prefer Legacy Packs. But before we get started, the giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. Yes, these are original print cards. That's a secret rare Miseria DeVille. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know, have you found any Yu-Gi-Oh Packs at Target since the big announcement of No More Packs or whatever? Because on the sign I saw, it had one of those signs that said No Pokemon or Sports. It said May 14th. They're not doing it after that. Well, it's past May 14th. And they still have Yu-Gi-Oh packs. So I'm feeling pretty good about it, especially the legacy packs. So we're gonna open these up. 10 packs in this video. Hope you guys are a little bit, I'm a little bit excited about this because you know what? We can still get Yu-Gi-Oh packs at Target. I'm so hyped about this. So we're gonna we're gonna open these up and let's see what we get. We get a bonus card. I haven't op I've actually ever opened these besides I think once somebody sent me some. But other than that, I've never actually bought any myself. Because I hardly ever go to Target or Walmart anymore. But I was like, you know what? Let's go check it out and see what we can find. We got Aquamere. So when I found out we actually do have a chance to get more cards, maybe I'll actually start going back to Target. Because I quit going to the Walmarts because one, I couldn't get anything at my Walmarts anyway. And then I heard the news that there are no more uh, packs in general. So I was like, okay, we're kind of screwed. Okay, we got a D signal. So far we have two trap cards, not the most exciting. So I think not all of these are Dark Crisis Pharaoh Servant. But, uh, yeah, here we go. We have a Metal Raiders one. We have two of these. We have a Metal Raiders Invasion of Chaos, which is probably the best double you can get. I think it's LOB SRL, which is also pretty good. Pharaoh Servant Dark Crisis is definitely the worst because there's only six different sets. Dark Crisis is clearly the worst. Another trap card. They just really hate trap cards. They just put them all in here. Okay. Two more of these. I am very excited about this, guys. I'm very excited that we can actually get cards at Target. I was a little worried that we were not going to be able to anymore. I also am a little... They literally just put trap cards in here. Is this supposed to, like, match the red on the blister or something? This is really weird. Um, but I'm also thinking it's possible that maybe they just had a ton of these extra and they were just going to sell them all out. And then they're going to not sell Yu-Gi-Oh cards after that because they didn't have any of the new set. So I'm, I'm not totally sure. Let me know. Keep me updated in the comments about your local Walmarts because I can only go to so many Walmarts. It's not many. I've seen a lot of that card as, a, as an extra. So there we go. Nothing too crazy in those. And we will keep up with the situation. But right now, uh, I'm feeling pretty happy. We got some legacy packs. You guys know I love legacy packs. We're going to open these up. 
and hopefully get something good. We have Ferris Server. Actually, let's go with the DCR first. Probably the least exciting of these. Still a cool set with Dark... Cr I'm not Grisis. Uh, dark... Dark Neck... Exodia Necros. I'm struggling right now. I just want to say Dark. Exodia Necros. We got uh, Shinado, which we haven't pulled in a while. We also have... Um, um, the Skull Archfiend of Lightning. There's a Berserk Dragon. We always seem to pull that guy. It's a nice card. And Battle Scar. That's pretty nice. There we go. Super rare. Good start. Good start. We've already got a hollow. Let's go into Pharaoh's Servant. Can we pull Jet? Somebody said, somebody commented on one of my really old Forbidden Legacy videos, and they were like, we're never getting another Jinzo, because you always jinx yourself. And I was like, we've pulled like seven or eight of them. Like, how many do we need to pull? <laughs> Invitation to a Dark Sleep. Mitch Azuri. Flying Comic Curie and Thousand Eyes Idol. Okay. Nice card. Metal Raiders. Ooh, this is. I haven't opened too much Metal Raiders recently, I feel like. Because, like, when we did those. I, I do have another Legacy opening. You guys are probably going to see this uh, before then. I have. It's like another 30 packs that I got from someone who had been piling them up or something. Yadu Kuru. Witch of the Black Forest. That's cool. Um, so, you guys are going to see even more Legacy packs. You guys know I love them, but. Uh, there wasn't many Metal Raiders in there. There wasn't many LOV, and there wasn't many... Sorry, it was like mostly Dark Crisis and Invasion of Chaos. Dark Scorpion, Mene the Thorn. Let's get a non-spellcasting area. Okay, Contract with the Dark Master. And Archfiend's Roar. Archfiend Soldier. Lots of Archfiends. Falling Down. Nice card. And Zolga. Okay, so not the best here. Okay, it is Friday, so I'm trying to think. What are we going to have tomorrow? I can't remember what I'm scheduling tomorrow for the video. But we have Elemental Energy Hobby coming up at some point. It's going to be pretty epic. We have those Legacy Packs. Maybe that's tomorrow. I can't remember. Oni Tank. And Bubonic Vermin. All right. Very nice. We've got some nice stuff coming up. So it has been, it has been, um, you know, some pretty good videos recently. I hope you guys enjoyed that Phantom Darkness opening. That was really fun. Pretty good result as well, I'd say. Genzo number seven. Wait. What set is this? Metal Raiders? Oh, yeah. He comes before Genzo. It's so weird. Mayusube, sort of deep-seated, deep-seated, and the baby dragon, little chimera, prevent rat, and gazelle. Okay, all right, we have four. Okay, invasion of chaos. Here we go. Here we go. Four packs left, guys. Out of our ten-pack opening, I think these cost me like eighty-two bucks. I think I showed at the beginning, which is kind of a lot, but not that much for you know what you get. It's pretty cool packs. Chaos Sorcerer, we got a Zero Gravity. Can we get the Chaos Emperor, Desk Kangaroo, Inferno? Okay, we're not going to get it this time. Dark Dry Ceratops, Salvage. We haven't hit a Hollow since the first pack. So a slow start. Definitely a slow start. Well, a slow, not start. We got a first Hollow after that. It's been slow. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Dark Scorpion, Minade the Thorn. Agito. Shinado's Ark. Archfiend's Oath. Okay, this might be Battle Scar. This might be one of our worst openings ever we've had some bad ones so probably not our worst opening ever potential gen zone here it is going to be a shorter video obviously because we only have two packs left i didn't want to buy all we could have bought the other four and had 18 packs but you know sometimes you got to let somebody else have a chance cyber falcon we got a gradius insect imitation okay thousand eyes idol and four star ladybug of doom we're saving it for the end we're saving it for the black luster soldier you guys know it we've never pulled it but it's happening right now. I dare say we pull the Black Luster Soldier here. I might pass out. Okay. Can we do this, guys? I'm not peeking. I'm not peeking. Here we go. A hero emerges. I don't want to see any sort of, uh, you know, warping that might make me think we're going to get something good. I'm just going into it. We got a stumbling. Pinch Hopper. Can this be it? The time you pull Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning, the card that's eluded us for how long have we been on YouTube? As long as we've been on YouTube. That, that long. <laughs> Desk Kangaroo. Why is why do these cards look the same? The Kangaroo and the Grasshopper look the same. I don't know. I don't know. That was <laughs> Okay, so the good news is Target's selling Yu-Gi-Oh cards. The bad news is that was one of the worst openings ever. But it was only 10 packs. Only 10 packs. It's tough. It was just reprints. It's okay. 82 bucks down the drain. I think we got like a $2 super. But that's okay. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe. We have some epic videos coming up. I'm brainstorming for 100,000, guys. I'm thinking it needs to be insane. I don't know about you guys. And if you guys want to gift something for the 100,000 subscriber opening, so let's let's put a preface. It's because 100,000 subscribers, it needs to be epic. So it has to be something epic. Can't be like new. It can't be like the newest set, okay? By the way, this is totally optional, but this is just throwing it out there. If any of you guys want to 
donate something to me to open in the 100,000 that's like, you know, something old school or something I can throw in because I'm looking for a big variety. I want this 100K special to be crazy, okay? We're not that close to it right now. We're still 25K away, but that's why I want to start now. I want to have lots of time to brainstorm this thing, get some really good stuff. I want it to be super exciting. I want you guys to have a lot of fun. So if you guys have something really cool, send me a message on Instagram at Ruxin34. Follow me there. We're working on that Instagram game. We're trying to pop up there, be kind of hype, you know? Okay, so yeah, so follow me there and post a lot more and send me a message say i got this do you want to open for 100k do not be offended if i say no i might say no if i don't think it's epic enough because i think this needs to be the most epic opening on the channel i don't know about you guys 100k we've had some pretty big ones but i think this should be a fun one so hit me up if you guys want to donate anything there just keep that in mind you guys can send me a message if you think you have something cool and that's it for this video i'll see you guys later peace Elemental Hero Dark Bright Boom! Oh, <laughs>